What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a scrappy Flamigo team that also features Dragapult, Dragonite, and Magnezone. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator. We'll be leaving his uh, information down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. They use this team to actually push top 100. So if you guys wanna check out the real player who used it and piloted it to top 100, definitely go check out his content and check out his social medias down in the description below but like i said we're using scrappy flamigo today and flamigo is such a cool pokemon from generation 9 well at least for my opinion considering it's just a little flamigo it is fighting and flying type and given it the scrappy ability allows it to hit ghost type pokemon with close combat so it's gonna be really cool to use and actually really fun to use at the same time and it also has faint which faint hits to protect and gets a little bit of first turn priority so say a ghost type pokemon wants to protect or something we can actually break the protect with faint and kind of go from there but let's get started here. Top left corner with today's team preview. Starting off with the one and only Dragonite. This one has multi-scale and the choice ban. Normal terror type with extreme speed, outrage, fire punch, and dragon call. This Dragonite's an absolute beast. Probably going to be bringing it in in most of the battles. Second Pokemon is going to be Magnezone. And Magnezone's a really cool electric and steel type that I haven't been seeing too often on the rank ladder. So it's going to be a lot of fun to use and showcase it for you guys. It is analytic and magnet as its item and ability. Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, Protect, and Discharge for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be our main man, Dragapult, over here. Cannot go wrong with Dragapult. Such a cool Pokemon. Absolutely love its design with Infiltrator and the Wide Lens as its ability. And then Draco Meteor, Hex, Protect, and will wisp for a solid moveset. I really like Dragapult. Really fast, and it's a really good special slash physical attacker. Whichever one you want to build him for, he's, he's all about it. He's all about it. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Murkrow. Murkrow is one of those Pokemon you can't go wrong with on any team. It's got Prankster. It's got the Evo Light. Sunny Day, Tailwind. Foul play and haze for its moveset. So I'm loving its moveset. You can grant speed control, weather control, you can haze down dozos or any Pokemon that's boosted. It's just all around an absolute great Pokemon. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be Azumarill with huge power and the safety goggles as its item. Liquidation, play rough, protect, and parasong. Loving this moveset. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Final Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Flamigo over here. And like I already mentioned, I love this little Flamingo. It's got Scrappy as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, then it's rocking close combat, Brave Bird, which is two heavy hitting stab moves, and then Faint and Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting move. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Mental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Scrappy Flamingo team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Palafin team. That's definitely scary considering Palafin is absolutely amazing if you can transform, transform it into its hero form. But then they also have Salamence with Intimidate, and that's a good thing about Scrappy. I'm not affected by Intimidate if uh, Intimidate does come out on the field. But then they also have the Rain Squad with the Pelipper, and then they got Amoongus, Kowtow Cleave, uh, King Gambit, and then last but not least, they do have Golden Go. And I can hit Golden Go with a, with a punchy move, with a, with a fighting move. Which is pretty cool. But I could definitely see him leading Palf in a turn, maybe turn one. So do I want to go into like Murko? Maybe set up Tailwind? Or well, I could go into a Pokemon more so like Magnezone, which wouldn't be bad. What would I want to do here? I could go Murko and just set up the Tailwind, but I feel like my Pokemon are rather fast already. I feel like we just go into Magnezone at this point. We're going to go Magnezone. I do like Magnezone as a, as a decent lead. And then I'm going to go into Dragapult. And then last but not least, do I go into Azumarill? Because Azumarill is not bad. I kind of like Azumarill in a lot of these different situations. But the Gambit's scary. And them having Gambit, I feel like I have to have uh, Dragonite in the back end. I have Fire Punch on it with Choice Band. That can really be a solid counter. Especially that and the Amoongus as well. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We're locking in the squad. Looking for our first win. Hopefully we get our scrappy Flamigo here and we get ripping. So I would love for him to lead like Golden Go and me for just hit it with a close combat. And knock it out. That'd be awesome. That'd be really cool. But let's see. Palfin and Pelipper come out here. Okay, so probably gonna go for the flip turn, right? Correct. Makes the most sense. And probably set up a tailwind here as well. The flip turn is definitely looking scary. But what is Flamigo's speed? I wish I would have set up tailwind. I do have I do have a sash on this thing though, though. 156. Faster than most. You are faster than most. And who could he swap into is a real question. I'm going to go into close combat into the what's called slot. Let's just swap it into a Moongus. 
but I still feel as close combat into the Palafin slot is going to be our best play. And then just straight up, I could discharge across the board, which which would be awesome. Do I do that? Do I discharge across the board? Nah, I'm just gonna straight up Thunderbolt Pelper. I'm with this turn. So straight up withdraws Pelper. Okay, that's a fine turn. I don't mind it. What are you doing with Palafin? Amuga's gonna come in here. You gotta be flip turning, right? Close combat's gonna fly. That might just KO you. That's a big time damage. That's a big time damage. Our defense is going to drop here. Flip turn is definitely coming out here. And I can just Brave Bird out of Moogus next turn, which isn't bad. The so flip turn comes in here. He's not going to go into... Actually, he could go back into Pelipper. Definitely an option. But I don't see that happening. He has Hero Form for later. I do have E-Speed on my my Dragonite for that. And Gambit is going to come out here. So Gambit is a huge threat to us. I don't I don't like this Gambit at all. Can we get a Paralyze on Moogus a little bit? Maybe? Possibly? Be dope. Okay. So now from here, Gambit is definitely scaring me. But I think Brave Bird's got to be our play right here. Or do I just straight up close combat in that slot? I think I have to br Brave Bird, just in case he wants to go for a... Uh, hey, what's it called? Just in case he wants to go for a Rage Powder. I think Brave Bird's our play. I'm going to stay here. He's going to Terrasalize. A little scary. A little scary. But if I can waste out these rain turns, I, like I said, I have Dragonite in the back end. Who can, who can get some more? He's gonna go into grass. Oh, Dragonite. I'm liking that. I'm liking Dragonite there. And my Flamigo. Wow, my Flamigo can rip into that. I need Flamigo for a turn. I'm really surprised he went into that. Raper's gonna fly here. KO the Moogus. That's a big time KO. Flamigo getting some work done. So we get rid of that thing. Thunderbolt is gonna fly here. I wonder who he's going after, though. I kind of hope he goes after my uh, my Magnuson. Be paralyzed. Give me a little power action. Cat clue coming in here. Going to Magnuson. Cool, it goes into Magazine. I soak all day. And now I can freely Brave Bird into Gambit. Or I can read a Protect going into Gambit. We have options here. We have options here. But the scariest part is that thing. So that thing's gonna come out here. It's gonna be able to freely jet punch into me. And what do I do here? Do I just swap and save my boy? Or do I stay in here? Because again, free jet punches. No bueno. We don't like that. I mean, I'm fine with letting these Pokemon go. I really am. Now that that thing changed typings, I don't mind the King Gambit. So I'm cool with letting these, these Pokemon go. So, you know, I'm just going to go for the... Uh, I'm going to go for the Brave Bird in the slot. And on top of that, I'm just going to try to Discharge across the board. I'm doing it. Going for the Discharge across the board. Jet Punch coming in here. Can you eat this up? Yeah, no. You cannot. You simply cannot. And now you get outsped by this... Uh, King Gambit. Actually, don't. That's a, okay. I'm, I like that turn then. That turn's totally solid. That, 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 that's pretty much GG's, right? And we get the para. Thank you. So, Palafin gone. Good thing we got damage off of that thing in the beginning. That thing could have been a problem. So, we get rid of Palafin. We paralyze the Gambit. And you have Pelipper left, right? And I eat that up. What are you doing? What are you hitting me with that for? What are you hitting me with that for? What are you hitting me with that? Obviously, going into you would be our best call, but I like Dragapult so much better, so I'm going to go into Dragapult. <laughs> we have fun around here. If you're new here, we have fun around here. We don't we don't play we don't play perfectly every single time. So obviously, if, if I had money on the line or if my life was on the line, I would rock out with Dragonite here. Dragonite's just a better option, but I like Dragapult a little bit more, so I'm going to rip into this with uh, him. So from here, I'm going to go into... Do I, do I Meteor this thing? No. We're going to Meteor to Gambit, because I want, I want Gambit. I want Gambit going. I want to send it into oblivion. I still have terror typing too. I probably should have Thrasalized. That was done by me. It's going to wide guard. I'm not going for discharge. And are you sucker punching me? That was a dumb play by me. He does not sucker punch. Okay, that's cool. We dropped thousands of meteors on that thing. And that thing soaks really, really well. Absurdly well. Thunderbolt's going to fly here. Bop. KO in that. And yeah, it's GG's. Countdown Clue's probably coming out here. KO in me. And yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Because again, I have Dragonite in the back end. But yeah, 100% Dragonite would have been the better play or better Pokemon to go into. Because I could have just E-Speed to Rasslize and KO that thing. And then just Thunderbolt like we normally did. It would have been GG's. It would have been GG's. But our opponent tried reading, reading too much into depth and uh, trying to, what's it called? Wide Guard, block my Discharge. But now I'm going to send my Discharge and just be that guy. <laughs> Even though that's not the play, I'm setting the discharge just to let him know that he missed a wide guard last turn. <laughs>
We get a little toxic around here too. So again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're fun. We're toxic sometimes. We like playing Pokemon. It's all it's all good times around here. It's all good times. And yo, for the people who who are watching me right now while eating something, hopefully you're enjoying your meal because I know there's a lot of people who who eat, pop up the phone or iPad, watch a little bit of Jeans content. Shout out to you guys. But there it is. Match number one is over. We eat speed into King Gambit, and we start off today's video one to know. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Umbreon and Espeon team. And I am currently looking for an Espeon team to showcase for you guys. So if any guys got an Espeon Mental Code team, bring it over to your boy Jeans. But they also have Golden Go, uh, Armor Rouge, Garchomp, and Talonflame. So really cool team. Hopefully we can grab ourselves another win and keep her, get a streak rolling here. Go back to back. But who should I lead? How should I go into this? I really do like the Scrappy Migo here. It's just such a good Pokemon all around. And I love it. So I'm going to go into the uh, Flamigo. I am going to go into, do I go into Murkrow here? I could go into the Murkrow, set up a Tailwind, because I feel like they they set up the Gale Wings with the Talonflame, and that could definitely be a problem. So I'm going to go Tailwind, try to match their speed, and then from there, I could bring a Zoom Rail. I feel like, actually, let's lead a Zoom Rail. Let's lead a Zoom Rail, just because we're super effective up against a bunch of these Pokemon. So I really do like both these guys. So we're going to go Zoom Rail, we're going to go Murkrow as lead, we're going to bring Scrappy Migo in the back end, and then last but not least, probably one of the Dragons, right? Dragonite is looking really good with the Fire Punch and the Choice Band, all that good stuff. But Dragapult is also looking very good because it's Dragapult and he outspeeds pretty much everything. Right? So who do I want to play this one? Kind of lean towards the Dragonite. I feel like we get a lot more value out of the Dragonite, especially up against uh, the Pokemon that we're going up against. So I'm going to rock in with Dragonite. I'm going to lock it down. Let's look to go back to back here. Feeling good today. I'm feeling real good today. Feeling real good today playing on the rank ladder. We had a solid first match. We got Flamigo dropping some nice Brave Birds. We got Magnuson dropping some Thunderbolts, Discharge, all that good stuff. But let's go back to back here. I want to see Espeon. So hopefully they bring the Espeon in, in this battle. Espeon's just such a cool Pokemon. Talonflame and Garchomp is going to get the lead. I'm all, I'm with that. I'm with that. Uh, so I have the Murkrow. Obviously, Tailwind's going to have to be a play. Who do I go after, though? Because I can go after either of these Pokemon. You know, I'm going to set obviously set up the Tailwind. And do I Liquidation the Talonflame down? I'm really leaning towards that. I could Terrasilize into Grass, but you know what? That's not the play. I'm going to go into Liquidation into Talonflame slot. Yep. Great call by me. I was about to say, Garchomp, probably more prone to Protect than the Talonflame. This could be a really good turn for us. So I set up my Tailwind. They're probably setting up a Tailwind as well. No, he's going to go for a will -O Okay. I mean, that's, not a, that's actually a really good turn. That's actually a really good turn. Burning my Azumarill. Did not see that coming at all, but I, I don't I don't mind that turn. Because Liquidation should be able to do a nice little chunk of this Pokemon. Yeah. Brings it down to... Uh, down to... To Omus Red. Now, the real problem is Azumarill will not outspeed. Yeah, it simply won't outspeed the Talonflame anymore. And the question is, do we think a Foul Play can KO? I don't really think it can, but I don't know if I should go for it or not. I think I should just keep it on the Garchomp. Have him potentially set up a Tailwind, right? And just Liquidation KO. Yeah, let's just do that. So I, don't, I don't think... Okay, which all? That, that that solves my, my issue. So I'm Liquidation again. He's going to go into Umbreon. That's not a bad turn. And we're going to be able to start popping Foul Plays into Garchomp. So Foul Play flying here. Bop. Big time damage. Big time damage. We love it. We love it. And Dragon Call is going to also fly. Which we soak. Lovely little soak. Garchomp's going to take some Life Orb damage. And another Foul Play should be able to finish that off. The liquidation coming in here. Really not doing much. I could set up a Parasong if I want to. Ooh, that could be huge. If I oh, yeah. Let's get rid of the Garchomp and set up a Parasong into the Umbreon. I think it's a really good turn. It's a really good turn. But I think Foul Play... Hmm, that's kind of close. Foul Play might not be able to do that. But I'm going to go for the Parasong. I would love to set it up. Especially with Azumarill just being burned. The Garchomp protecting. So he's gonna, they're going to be forced to swap out at, at one point in the match. The Foul Play coming in here. Getting blocked. I don't really know what Umbreon's doing, but it looks absolutely amazing with its shiny. I'm going to set up this Parasong. Set up the Parasong. All Pokemon. We're going to Faint Zone. Play Foul Plays. Takes out my Murkrow. I'm really liking that turn. Really liking that turn. So Umbreon's going to be really bulky. I feel like he's going to want to swap Umbreon. Because of these Parasong turns. But you're going to go into Talonflame, right? I think we're doing really good with this. 
Pair of songs counting down. We love it. Everybody on the field's going down. And from here, I could just straight up bring out East Speed Dragonite, right? Or do I bring out the Scrappy Boy? Or do I get a little Scrappy with it? I said we bring out the Scrappy Boy. East Speed Dragonite would obviously be, a, be better. But just like in the first match, we like to have fun around here. We're bringing out the Flamigo. Yo, is that thing flying? Wait a minute. I've never seen this Pokemon fly. It usually just stands on its one leg, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Yo, somebody back me up here. Somebody back me up right here. This bird right here is usually not flying like that, right? Somebody help me out. It is usually on its leg, chilling there. I'm not going to go into that. I am just going to probably protect you, right? Or I can swap you into Dragonite at this point. Now we're just gonna protect here. I should protect. We'll see how this one wants to go. He's gonna withdraw. And we'll, we'll, we'll keep playing this one. Town Flame dies out here. Bye bye, Town Flame. Umbrown's gonna also withdraw. Wait a minute. I didn't KO a Pokemon yet? Oh my god, I thought I KO'd a Pokemon. I could have sworn I KO'd a Pokemon. Could have put my life savings on I KO'd a Pokemon. But Golden Go is here. And I can close combat Golden Go. I can close combat Golden Go because we have Scrappy. But I'm really liking that. I'm going to close combat next turn. I might set up another Parasol. I might as well, right? If I can get rid of Golden Go and have a Pokemon trapped in for turns, it could be really good for us. My Parasong is counting down. Tailwind is gone. But my Scrappy Migo still outspeeds. I think all of his Pokemon besides that Garchomp. Which kind of sucks. Okay. Let's still go for the combat. I think I do. Then I just play rough into the, into the Chomp. Chomp's going to protect. That's fine. We're close combating here. Well, Migo should be able to outspeed and do the Scrappy. We can hit this thing. Yep. Let's get it. Thank you, Scrappy. Thank you, Scrappy. Defense is going to drop. I'm setting up a Parasong next turn. I have to, right? It's my best bet. They have Umbreon. I, ha I have to do that. I totally forgot that he had one more Pokemon. I thought we KO'd him. I don't know why. So from here, I'm going to protect the Migo. Right? I have to protect the Migo and just set up the song. Definitely my best bet. I have to set up another one. Or do I swap here? I feel like I have to set up the song. We have Dragonite with the multi scale. Hmm. I don't have Protect on you, which kind of sucks. And so in that case, I could just go for close combat here. But I'd rather take out the Chomp more than anything. I say we double down into the Chomp. Try to get rid of it. I think that's better than a Parasong. So if I get rid of the chomp, if I get rid of the chomp here, they're sitting in such a good position. So I am going to double down the chomp and hope to KO it. He's going to Dragon Call my Migo, who dies. Okay, so if Migo dies out, we're hoping that my Zoomerel can just KO here. He's going to take some life orb damage. He should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. It's going to be a yawn. That's totally fine. It's going to fail because we're burned already. And playoff's going to fly. Do we KO? We KO. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. So Zoomerel's going to go down here to our own Parasong. But it forced him to swap out, and I just think that was a better turn. Off. So, Azumarill is gone. We have one Pokemon left, and it's going to be my choice ban dog. It's going to be my choice ban Pokemon. Luckily, I did bring in this Pokemon, and this battle's looking pretty good for us. Burn ship us up. But, yo, the best play was Scrappy Flamigo, just ripping into Golden Go. Solid, solid play. He was not expecting that. He's like, I'm going to protect Garchomp, just rip into this Pokemon. He can't do anything with Braper, can't hit me with close combat. But, nah, yo, we're all about it with the Scrappy. But from here, I could just try slicing a normal, right? I still have Terra. Don't I? I do. I do indeed have Terra. And what would do more damage? Terrasalize East Speed, that would be base 140. Outrage would do more damage. Outrage would do more damage. Do I really want to... I'm choicing here. I'm going to Outrage. Screw it. We're Outraging into this thing. Get it. We're Terrasalizing. We're Outraging. We're doing it all. We're doing it all. I think normal types can be better than the dragon flying. 
It's just all around solid. So we're outraging for the most possible damage that we could possibly do. And we get choice band boost. I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> Yo, if this ain't Terrasalize and the Fairy, I'm a cry. If this is Fairy, I'm a cry. Okay, cool. Wow, thank God we didn't choice band into, into E speed. That could have been bad. That could have been terrible. We could have lost a battle on that. Thank, thank Lord. Wow, that was definitely very fortunate for us. Very, very fortunate. Ends up going into foul play. It's GG's. It is GG's. Very, very fortunate for us not going into E speed. So we're choosing it. Outrage is just, it's just going to pick our moves for us. And we're just going to go from there. Outrage coming in hot. Send it. Later, Umbreon. Solid second battle. Really fortunate at the end there, like I said, to not go into E-Speed. That was all luck right there, but we take that all day. We're sitting 2-0. Let's hop into our third and final battle. Look for a perfect record. So far, we've been bringing you guys some great battles, but we're hopping through to our third and final battle. And I want to grab ourselves a perfect record. But we're going up against a really tough team, but a good team that Flamigo can actually close combat into. They have Annihilate and Golden Go. I can close combat into both of them. It's going to be a lot of fun, but they also have the Don Dozo and Tatsugiri combo. Actually, I should start saying Tatsugummy because a lot of you guys think it's funny. So Tatsugummy and Don Dozo were versus. <laughs> and then they have Indeedee and Arm Rouge. I feel like Murkrow is an absolute must, but more so a backhand Pokemon just to haze and counter the Don Dozo. So I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, who should I lead though? Who should Jeans lead? Flamigo seems really, really good here. I kind of want a Pokemon to get after the... Uh, that Indeedee and Arm Rouge. So I might go with Zoomrail. Might bring in the lovely little Zoomrail. That's a nice little lead. Yeah, I'm with a Zoomrail. Am I with a Zoomrail? Or would I rather have a Pokemon like you? You're not too bad. You're not too bad. Who do I want? Who do I want? We have some fun with it. Go Magnezone. Hmm. Hmm. I know I have 10 seconds left. I'm just, <laughs> just trying to think a little bit more. Uh, you know, we're going to go. We're going to have some fun. We're going to go Magatone. We're going to go Murkrow. And then last but not least, I am going to end up bringing Dragapult. Well, not Dragapult. Dragonite. All right. Dragonite it is. So, Don Dozo, Tasu Gummy. Little Gummy Bummy. Let's start calling him just Gummy, all right? That's what his name is on the channel. I might forget in, in, in future videos. Remind me in the comment section down below when I forget. But we're just going to be calling it Gummy. It's Gummy from now on. Don Dozo and Gummy. They're going to end up leading in Didi and that thing, that thing, <laughs> and Annihilate. Okay, so second surge here. No first turn priority moves are allowed. Follow me could definitely come out here. I feel like it's an absolute must that it comes out there, right? Special defense seeds are coming out here, the psychic seeds. And I just feel like Brave Bird's got to be a play, right? Wait, right, Brave Bird's got to be a play? Send it in that slot? Yeah, it's got to be a play. And then from here, I'm just going to probably straight up Thunderbolt into NDD, just in case he wants to protect Annihilate. Gambit's going to come out here. Okay. That's, that, that's, I, I can deal with that. I, that's perfectly fine by me. I'd rather him take my uh, Magnuson for an Annihilate death. I'm really cool with that. So I do have Focus Ash, probably drop an Expanded Force into me, and that's going to kill me because I just realized I took off my Focus Ash with that Brave Bird. Okay. Psychic, so yeah, that kills me too. So both of them kill me. I'm dead. See you later, Flamigo. And, mmm. So far, not looking so hot. I mean, we brought Ndidi down to half health. Ndidi's not going to do anything crazy. But I could definitely see my boy, Murkrow, clutching it up for us. I can't eat speed, though. I simply can't eat speed. I cannot eat speed, which sucks. So let's see. Who's going to come out here? It's going to be Armors. Okay. So Army Armors comes out here. Army armor is going here. Do we already have speed? I mean, Mercury can simply foul play. I might double down to armor here. Terrasalize, and I, I should choice into Dragon Claw, correct? It's my bet. It's my best move to Terrasalize into, or uh, choice into. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We won't set up a Tailwind just yet. We're gonna go straight after some attack. All right. So no gummy, no gummy Don Dozo combo. I'm upset. I really want to see the gummy on the field. I used to call it Tatsu Gummy. That's why it's that's why some of the people in, the, in who watch my videos find it funny, and it is actually funny looking back on it. I used to just call that Pokemon Tatsu Gummy because I didn't know its name. <laughs> I knew it was Tatsu. I didn't know it was Tatsu Giri though. It was Tatsu Gummy in my mind. So we're just gonna be calling it Gummy for now. Foul play comes out here, does a little bit of damage, picks up some nice damage. Dragon Claw is gonna pick up the KO. We'll say bye bye to Indeedee. 
No, Mdidi is gone. Indeed, 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 he is gone. Shrikram is popped. We did not set up Tailwind. That's pretty solid for us that we didn't set it up. And then we can kind of just go from here. So it's actually a really close battle. 2v2 coming down to it. They still have Terrestrialization, which I could see Armourouge actually popping, knowing that we have Foul Play ready to go. But I wonder what his last Pokemon is. Please be the Gummy. Just a little Gummy. I would love it forever. Please just be the Gummy. Show me Gummy. Show me Gummy. Ah, uh, Gummy's cousin. <laughs> His cousin that we didn't that we didn't want to see. But from here, I'll just go into a simple foul play. And I'll just go into a simple drag play, correct? I'm gonna double down to armors here. I'd rather get rid of armors. I'd rather get rid of this armor rouge. Rouges of armor. And I wonder who's gonna terror here. I do think Gondozo is shiny is absolutely amazing. That white. Mwah, it's beautiful. It is it's it's beautiful. Spicy beautiful. Love it. Love it. But I do wonder who he's going to Terrasalize. I feel like the Armourouge would be the better option, but I could definitely see your opponent Terrasalize to Don Dozo, which I would rather have. I would rather have him Terrasalize to Don Dozo. Even though the, the wave crash with Don Dozo Terrasalize, maybe in the water, scary, scary, scary. But he's thinking, he's thinking. There's the, t the Terra. Beat Don Dozo? Beat Don Dozo? Armourouge. Okay, so Armourouge comes out here. It's straight grass. Okay. I mean, I wonder why. Probably just so he can dodge the foul plays. And there's the wave crash. The wave crash coming in hot here. He's going to take some recoil damage. Dragonite soaks pretty well with that multi-skill there. Bandit Force coming out here. It does not affect my Merc. And Dragonite. Oh. Oh. Took some big time damage. So, yeah. That's pretty much GG right there. Unless my boy Merc clutch it up. But there's no shot. Little birdie bird clutching up. Up against Gummy's cousin. Foul play coming in here. Doing a little bit of damage. That's it. We're going to run this battle. 2-1 for today's video. Not bad. Got to showcase this scrappy Flamigo team to its fullest potential. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. Grabbed yourselves a winning record and got to showcase this team really, really well. I absolutely love using scrappy Flamigo. Definitely a fun Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. Then you got Pokemon like Dragapult, Dragonite, Magnezone, Murkrow, and Azumarill, which really just gels this team together and makes it solid as a whole. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.